This fall, the MFA is hosting the official portraits of former President Barack Obama and former First Lady Michelle Obama. Boston is the final stop of the cross-country tour before the paintings head back to the Smithsonian National Portrait Gallery in Washington, D.C. The tour started where the couple's romance began, at the Art Institute of Chicago. The former first couple famously went on their first date at the museum. The portraits have generated a lot of excitement on every stop they've made, especially for young people of color who are getting their first look at unique portraits of the first black president and a first lady of the United States. I never thought I'd get the opportunity to actually see it in person. So to see it in person and being invited, that made me so excited. And I was so ready to come here today. I'm very, very proud that I got to see this and taking pictures in front of it. It's like so wonderful. And I can show my friends who didn't get to see and tell them how much fun I have. You get to see all of the colors and how it works together and you become a big picture. So it's very interesting. The two portraits are dramatic, and unlike any official presidential portrait ever commissioned, they are statement pieces that stand six and seven feet tall. The artist, Kahindi Wiley and Amy Sherald, are the first African-American artists selected to paint official portraits of a president or a first lady. And the portraits will be on display at the MFA from September 3rd to October 30th. Now. Imagine your portrait on display at the MFA right next to the official portraits of former President Barack Obama and former First Lady Michelle Obama. Joining us now is Ronald Carroll. He's the MFA's Director of Teen Programs. This initiative is part of the MFA's Portraits of Leadership Community Project. But before we get to that, let's start off with what sparked the initiative, the Obama Portraits Tour. and. Ronald, tell us how you're going to be helping young people experience this exhibit. So first and foremost, I'm so happy to be here with you today. Uh, I love this show and I love what you do. Um, I'm the director of team programs here at the Museum of Fine Arts Boston under the Learning and Community Engagement Division. And I oversee uh, three of our uh, current is existing programs. That is Teen Arts Council, Curatorial Study Hall, and STEAM team, science, technology, engineering, art, and math. And these are all paid positions for young people who live in the city of Boston. Our curatorial study hall team will be working uh, alongside our design team, uh, interpretation, um, and several other uh, colleagues of mine here at the museum uh, and organizing themes um, and just uh, ways in which the portraits of leaderships, as you uh, alluded to, will be hung uh, in this exhibition. I think young people are going to be so excited to be a part of this. And you host many teen programs at the MFA, as, you, as you've as you just said. What have young people been saying to you or expressing to you about the exhibit coming? Uh, they are just so thrilled and, and fascinated with uh, this idea. Um, I think that the museum is um, taking a lot of initiatives to become a museum for all of the world, obviously, but more importantly, the, the city of Boston. You know, we want Bostonians to really feel like this place belongs to them. And you followed my career for some time. And so you know how long I've been at the museum and you know that um, I'm not just saying those words and that there are, there are things that obviously I can't mention in, in this segment and that the, the museum is making to make sure that uh, the, the doors of the museum feel open to the community uh, in, in which it serves. We're looking at some video of the Obama portraits uh, when they were on display in Chicago. We know there are going to be lots of opportunities to see these portraits for free here in Boston. You want to talk about that? Yeah, sure. Um, so I think it's it's very important, um, again, that, that the, the museum figures out ways to make sure that uh, it's being inclusive as, as much as it can be. So there will be four free days um, to, as I'm seeing on the screen right now, uh, for you to come in and, and, and view the, um, the portraits and just, you know, um, get a taste and a feel for um, how the museum is, is starting to operate um, you know, as it continues to 
you know, trudge ahead. Okay, now to the community piece. Explain generally what the MFA's Portraits of Leadership Community Project is all about and talk about some of the submissions that you've already received. Yeah, so um, I'm proud to say my very own Zara and Ronald have submitted um, uh, portraits of Willie O'Ree and uh, Missy Tope uh, and Misty Copeland, I'm sorry. Am I saying her name right? Yes, right. Uh, Misty the, Copeland, the, the ballerina. Mm -hmm. Correct, correct. Zara is a, is, a, is a beautiful dancer. And so that's what we're hoping that people do um, in terms of um, uh, painting a portrait or drawing a portrait or taking a picture um, of your uh, of, a, of somebody that you uh, that is a leader in your life. And we know those leaders come in many forms and facets. Um, so, you know, it could be a teacher, it could be a parent, um, it could be anybody, but we're hoping um, that people um, really take this opportunity to um, submit a portrait as we are, I think, embarking on close to 2000 um, to, um, to, to submit to the museum so that, you know, if you've ever wanted to see anything that you've created uh, as an artist or a, as a person who just loves to create or mm -hmm. somebody who is just trying this for the first time, we're, we're, welcoming, we're welcoming you to do this um, so that you may come in and see your artwork hanging on the walls of the Museum so, of Fine Arts. So Boston. you said you have 2,000 entries already, but for people that still want to submit, let's get to the details. What's the deadline and how can our community artists submit their work? Yeah, so the, the deadline is the, the 29th uh, of this month, um, but there are um, there is an opportunity to come in and uh, or, or come on July 30th. It's a Saturday from 10 to 3 p.m. Uh, you can swing by and have the opportunity to uh, create a portrait then. But um, otherwise, you know, you can uh, you can go to our website, uh, MFA.org and, and get all the details, but it needs to be a five by seven uh, uh, it needs to be on a five by seven piece of paper um, submitted uh, July 29th and you can mail it in. You can bring it to the museum and drop it off. Um, you know, and like I said, the, the MFA dot uh, org website explains everything. All right. We are looking forward to seeing this. So we're going to have all these details that you just shared with us on WCVB.com. Ronald Carroll, thank you for joining us today. And uh, just a reminder, the Obama portraits will be on display at the MFA this fall, starting September 3rd through October 30th, the seventh and final stop of the portrait tour. Tickets go on sale July 27th at 10 a.m. for members and August 2nd at 10 a.m. for non-members. And WCVB is the television sponsor for the Obama Portraits exhibit. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at CityLine5, and you can follow me on Twitter at Karen Holmes Ward. Have a great afternoon.